This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host and best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck, Derek Champagne. So how do you stay focused and motivated for these amazing things that you're doing and these breakthroughs in technology? Well, love what you do and who you hang out with, right? So I love getting out of bed in the morning because I'm going to go help millions and millions of patients. Right now, my main job as an entrepreneur is I'm a vice president over a company called Invicta Medical, and we're working on a sleep apnea medical device. We will impact 100 million patients worldwide, right? Minimum. <laughs> so getting out of bed in the morning knowing that I'm going to help impact all of those people and make their lives better. It's incredible. Because of the background that you had and the challenges that you had, how do you deal with setbacks or with disappointment? What's your mindset? How do you pick yourself back up? How do you recognize that it's a temporary valley or just give me your mindset in general from your perspective? Turn everything into an opportunity. And I actually did a whole talk around that. So anything that you think is bad in your life, and I mean, come on, you can look and compare yourself to someone like me who has had so much surgery and is in pretty significant pain on a daily basis every day of my life. Or someone like Amy Mullins, who was a double leg amputee. And she, you know, both of us, we've used our disabilities and turned them into opportunities. She has 12 sets of legs. She has a set of legs that makes her six feet tall, a set of legs that makes her, you know, five feet tall. She can change it up anytime she wants to and she has a set of legs that allows her to run faster than the majority of people in the world like literally world record holder levels it's amazing. So amazing you call that disabled you know disabled right so using anything that you think would normally be a bad thing in your life you're you you know you, you broke up with your boyfriend you fire got fired you have to move away from your hometown whatever it is that you might think is is terrible use that as an opportunity do you think that it's more challenge and I love that and and that's an amazing mindset do you think that it's easier for for you to identify with that because of the level of pain and suffering that you've been through for so many years or how does someone in that mindset set it pretty easy <laughs> how do they get that mindset as well so I mean I, for me it was years of trial and error but I think I'm just also a, an extremely positive person person to begin with. So for uh, for anybody else trying to learn how to do that, just write it down, right? Go get a list of paper. Take that thing that happened to you that was so very, very bad and terrible and write out a list of ways that you can turn that into an opportunity. And don't stop until you've hit 20. To hear full episodes of the Business Leadership Series, visit blsnow.net.